recently I had this sub challenge of waking up at 5 a.m. It's not an impulsive decision. I've been thinking about it for quite a while. Why? It started with one of my 2022 resolutions. My second resolution is to post more videos in YouTube channel. I had several resolutions last year. All of them got more or less completed except for this one. I wanted to make content creation one of my priorities in 2022, but I was only able to produce 8 videos last year. I've been trying to talk myself through, like you just get too many things on your plate, it's not all your thoughts, but in fact, in past 346 days after I made that resolution, there was no single one day I didn't feel bad about myself if I didn't put any effort in it. Being busy is absolutely a solid reason. But I think it's all about if being busy is a norm. If you truly want to do something or need to do something, when and how you can make time for it. So that's why I started to wake up at 5 a.m. and prioritize content creation in the morning. Here's what happened. Some small strategies made it not that hard to get up in the first two days. Like a one milligram of melatonin helped me to sleep early around 10 p.m. And I put my phone in the living room so I could get up immediately after waking up. I even increased the temperature in my apartment so I wouldn't be craving the warmth under the blanket. But my efficiency was so low because of the poor sleep quality and I couldn't resist the temptation to take a morning nap. Two days later, the real challenge was coming. Merry Christmas! So I'm going to Rachel's house for Christmas Eve. I don't think I can sleep before 9 today, but the goal of today is to sleep before 11, so at least I can get 6 hours sleep. Also wear a red dress today, since it's Christmas. I'm going to Paris Baguette right now to get a cake. I like the cake there, so see you guys in a bit. So sleepy right now. It's already 12:30 p.m. I don't know if I can get up 5 a.m. tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to meet some friends for dim sum and then hiking in a park. If I sleep right now, I can only sleep for four and a half an hour. I don't think I can make it to hike if I only sleep for and a half an hour. I felt terrible not waking up that day, so I decided to get up at 5 a.m. at all costs. Actually, the real challenge here was how to get 8 hours of sleep. It was just so hard. I have dance practice every Monday until 9 p.m. And I still want to hang out with my friends. And there are always special occasions like the New Year celebration and birthdays. I've never been so sleep deprived. Even if I took a nap sometimes in the early morning, I still felt my heavy head, had difficulty concentrating, and even had a bad mood at times. I never grow two pimples or three pimples on my face at the same time. So I tried to arrange the socials to be lunch instead of dinner. If I really need to go out at night, like dance practice, I try to come back before 10 so I can sleep at 11. If I can come back early, I just ate dinner, washed the dishes, and took a shower right after I came back, so I could be laid back until sleep time. I would say it was getting better. I was getting used to the new routine. Hi, I'm already in bed. So it's about 9 p.m. And recently, I've been reading a book. It's called 5 a.m. Club. It sounds very ambitious. Yes. Very ambitious. So, Robin suggested 2020 formula for the first hour of an early morning. So, it starts with 20 minutes of sweaty exercise. 
and then followed by 20 minutes of self-reflection. It can be journaling or meditation. And then it's 20 minutes of self-growth. You can, you know, read a book or listen to podcasts. Maybe I will try tomorrow because I feel my mind and body are not really ready to work immediately after waking up. But first of first, sleep. So I finally finished the 30 days challenge. Actually, I did 33 days because there were three days I wasn't really able to wake up at 5 a.m. I didn't really like it in the very beginning, but I was gradually getting used to it, especially after combining some certain morning rituals. And I do like exercise in the morning. It makes me feel more focused and engaged in a later task. It does resonate with one book I read before, which studies the correlation between brain and exercise. It mentions Exercise improves learning on three levels. It optimizes your mindset to improve attention. It prepares nerve cells to bind to one another. It helps the stimulation of new nerve cells in the hippocampus. I don't really enjoy meditation or journaling, which is also suggested as self-reflection step in a book. Meditation makes me really sleepy, and I prefer to do journaling in the evening the day before. In the past month, I was able to finish editing two complete videos and finish writing four scripts. I feel really, really good about it. But am I going to continue? I don't think it's very sustainable for me because there was always like 3 out of 7 nights I could only sleep 6 hours because of social events or hobbies I would feel myself much healthier if I can sleep 1 hour more so getting up at 6 probably is more realistic and sustainable for me This is my story of waking up at 5am Actually, I plan to do 12 challenges this year It can either be a habit I want to establish or a manner which can be beneficial to society or environment so if you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I'll be very excited to check out. Okay, good night my friends. I will see you in the next one.